Hi guys, today I'm back to film an Ulta haul. I just picked up a couple more things after the holidays. Um, I kind of was more clearance shopping and I didn't really pick anything up that was on clearance except for like one thing. But anyways, I will talk about what I got. First things first, Urban Decay was five times the points and kind of looking back, I wish I would have picked up a little bit more because there was more things I wanted. But I'm hoping that Urban will do this five times the points again in some time in the future. Or maybe it'll be five times the points on all purchases, just something, because I kind of wish I would have picked up my Naked Skin Concealer and the lipstick. And I think another, there was one other eyeshadow I wanted too, but um, what I did pick up was I repurchased my original Naked palette. I missed this, and I kind of was just like, now is the time to get it with it being five times the points. Because um, I feel like this is the first time I've noticed Urban doing five times the points, besides they did do five times the points on the Naked palettes, I think, right before the holidays um but this is the first time I've noticed they've done like five times the points on their entire their entire line so I went and picked this up just because I kind of missed it I missed some of the colors in here it's just so weird to look at it like full and new and like I think I might have swatched like one color I think I swatched sidecar because I kind of forgot what it was like but I mean it's just so weird to see this so nice and new and everything like even the outside packaging just seeing it look all nice and new is just kind of weird because I'm not used to that um but I'm really glad I picked that up just because I really missed it um and I'm kind of glad to have it back in my collection now so the other Urban Decay thing I picked up is the Urban Decay Moon Dust Shadow and this is in the color Solstice um, I have seen that girl ShayXO use this in quite a few tutorials and I was always just kind of like it's a red brown color with like green shimmer glitter whatever. Um, it's nothing that special and then I kind of was playing around with this and I'm like it is pretty different like I can justify purchasing it and I can actually even use it with those red brown shadows that have like the green shift or shimmer to them. So this is what it looks like. Um, like I said it does look like it's just a red brown with like green shimmer but it's almost like a ready pink color and like when the light hits it just right it almost looks pink plus these are actually in my opinion really buttery for being like a glittery like metallic shadow I was really really impressed with these um, but that is what it looks like there I'm gonna try this out with some of the tutorials that she's done and I think I want to try to come up with some looks on my own so I can do kind of my own get ready with me using this because it's just so pretty. I can't believe how much shimmer it has in it. Like it's just so pretty. Um, there is a couple more of these I want to pick up. I don't remember what colors exactly but I think I'm going to be picking those up kind of soon because I'm really impressed with that one. The last one I bought was Scorpio and Scorpio was pretty good but it's not as good as Solstice and some of the other ones. So I'm glad I picked this up. A um, couple not so exciting things. I picked up the Not Your Mother's Beach Babe Texturizing Sea Salt Spray. I picked this up because I wanted to try it, but I also picked it up because I have not had a sea salt spray in months. And I really, really miss it. Um, with us going to LA soon, I kind of wanted a travel size one that I could take with because that's probably one of my quick and easy hairstyles is to just like wet my hair, take a shower before bed, spray this in, and then in the morning I might have to kind of fix a couple pieces with a curling iron or flat iron. But for the most part, it's pretty much ready to go. So it's a really quick and easy hairstyle for me. Uh, I don't have to worry about like the humidity or anything like that. It just, it just works. So I'm kind of glad to try this out and kind of excited to take it along and hopefully it'll work really well for me. But I, I'm going to test it out here at home first to just make sure it's not awful. Because <laughs> if it's really bad, I'll take it back and get a different sea salt spray. It just, I know Not Your Mother's is one of the few lines that does have a nice travel size of that. And I don't feel like I see too many travel size sea salt sprays. So the other thing I picked up for our trip to LA is this, and I kind of regret purchasing this. It's the Simple Pleasures Candy Dreams Antibacterial Hand Sanitizer. I was picking this up because somebody was talking about how I've been watching a lot of like packing videos because I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to take. And someone was talking about how they always have like hand sanitizer with them in their like carry on or personal bag. And, you know, just because you're touching a lot of things that a lot of other people have touched and it can be kind of gross. Um, plus, people are always talking about how airplanes are so disgusting because you're all breathing in the same air and sharing germs and blah, blah, blah. So this makes me feel a little bit better. Um, but I have to say this smells 
horrible. I really don't know why because it doesn't expire until like July of 2017 so like it's got a long ways to go but I mean when you open it and smell it it smells kind of skunky and weird um I think as you start using it it's like better but it just it smells really really weird so I think we're gonna use this up and I'm gonna go get some Bath and Body Works ones that I know I like otherwise there was a vanilla frost one which kind of debating on going and getting because I was like if it smells like this one I don't want it if it smells better than this hooray because I actually do kind of like the cute little hook and stuff too it makes it easy to latch onto like zippers and bags and stuff so I don't know how I feel about this yet though I mm, we might just use it up I might take it along um, but on to some other things another nice sale that has been going on and I think it's still going on until the 23rd is Real Techniques has been buy one get one free and I already took advantage of the sale once and I got some complexion sponges and I got foundation brush but I kind of wanted more and there was this set that was I think $65 originally and it was on clearance for $35 and I didn't pick it up but it was a clutch and it came with the Real Techniques blush brush, their angled powder brush and then an eyeshadow brush and we still have tons of them so like I still could pick one up but I was like well I kind of want the angled liner brush because this had some really really good reviews on our website so I ended up picking up these two instead of doing the set it did end up being cheaper to do it this way. Maybe not the better value, but it was cheaper to do it this way because I was paying for this and I got this free. Um, and like I said, the brush set, I got three brushes and it was $35. So it was like $10 more and you got an extra brush, I guess. Um, but anyways, I just... <sighs> these, I don't know how I feel about them yet. I love the packaging on them, like or the... I guess you'd call it packaging, but I mean... It's just so pretty with the rose gold and the silver and it just it looks nice it feels nice the only thing is I just don't know if I like this I've been kind of trying to work on my blush application because I feel like I over apply a lot and this kind of helps but at the same time it's kind of just splotchy at times it depends on what blush I guess I use it with um, I feel like it always applies fine to the apples in my cheeks but once I get back here it just gets kind of splotchy sometimes and not I don't know not so nice but it does feel really soft. I love that it's kind of got this thing where it's like ombre from like a pink color to the white. The edges are usually white. Mine's a little pink because blush. But I don't know. It's a really nice brush so far. And then this one is the Angled Liner Brush. I've only used this once and I didn't use it with the best eyeliner in the world. So I don't know if it was the eyeliner's fault or the brush's fault, but my winged liner turned out so bad that I just took off all my eye makeup and just restarted because it was really, really bad. And I think then I just skipped the liner, the winged liner, because I was just like, I'm not doing this today. Um, but I don't know. I'm going to give this another shot. I'm a little disappointed, though, if it's not good um, because I had read so many good reviews and it just, it seems like such a nice brush. It's so like dense and sturdy it's not like blunt bending and all over the place and being you know a huge mess but I don't know we're gonna have to give this another go um next I picked up these it is the covergirl o sugar vitamin infused balms um I was gonna pick them up at bed bath and beyond but they were I don't know I think they were $6.49 and then at Ulta they were $8.99 but they were buy one get 50% off and then my discount so I was like it just seems a little bit better to go to Ulta plus I get my points which is always for me a huge perk because I have a lot of points and I cannot wait to get to a certain point to use them um, but anyways so I picked up two colors I picked up this light pink one in cupcake and the this one here is a little bit darker it's number three in caramel um, I was kind of reading a little sign above them and it said comparable to a $20 lip balm and I was like they're probably talking about the fresh ones um and i have to say after opening them i'm pretty sure that that's what they were talking about because it has the same like light citrusy scent to it it smells so good and so in my opinion it smells really relaxing i love it um the only thing that i did not like about this and this is just like a i don't know how to explain it but on the sign where it says comparable to a 20 dollars lip balm we all know that like when you open the fresh ones they're flat they're not lipstick shaped like this and the sign showed this product but being flat 
So when I opened it and I saw it was lipstick shaped, I was a little surprised because it didn't show that. Um, it's not a huge deal, but I just don't like when companies do that. They show something and then they, it's not like that at all. Um, like a misrepresentation thing, kind of. But anyways, they are still really good. They smell good. They are pretty, I would say pretty moisturizing. They don't really have any color to them though, I feel like. Like it's a really sheer tint. So I will show you really quick what they look like. But the lighter pink one is Cupcake and I just went over that like a couple times and then Caramel I really only kind of did that like once. And that is what that looks like. So you could kind of build them up and get more color but I find that usually once I put them on my lips whether I build it up or not I really can't see anything. It almost just comes, a comes across as a clear balm. They might add a tiny tint but it's, it's not even something I really notice. So it just smells so much like the fresh lip balms it's really nice so I'm kind of excited to keep playing with these I want to go back and get all of the colors and see if like some of the really dark ones show up a little bit more or like you know are they the same you know I just want to go back and get more but I'm kind of just gonna stick with these two for now because I really don't need like 20 million lip balms um, even though I love them <laughs> but I don't think I need as many as I kind of want to go back and get so um, that is it for this haul. I'm trying to think if there's really, I guess there's not really anything else. Um, it's getting to the end of the month, so I'm going to have favorites up, I'm going to have empties up, I'm going to have my first Project Pan update, my first Pan and Palette update up soon, so that'll all be kind of here in the next two or three weeks. Um, I'm going to try to get as much stuff filmed before we go to LA as possible. Because I think we're gone for almost a week, so I just really want to make sure I have stuff to go up while we're there. And I'm probably going to, like I said, pre-film it and then just kind of schedule it to upload on the normal Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, if I film a lot of extra stuff, there might even be something on Saturday or Sunday. But probably more than likely just Tuesday and Thursdays for sure. Um, I think that's it. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching.